This is my uh, custom flight case build for my Concertmate MG1 synthesizer by Realistic and Moog. Uh, I got all my supplies at Home Depot. I started, first I got my 1 8 inch plywood. Uh, essentially I marked my pieces, uh, cut the plywood, and assembled my box using first wood glue and then a nail gun to seal the pieces together. I coated the, the edges, the inner edges where the sides meet with an extra bead of glue to make for a uh, tight seal. Um, from there, um, once that was dry, I stained the wood and then after that I applied multiple coats of polyurethane to waterproof the wood. Then uh, I cut the box into two pieces with a jigsaw and a fine cut uh, blade and separated the box into two pieces based on where I want it to, you know, divide. Um, so after that, I uh, cut my enclosing extrusions, which essentially are the aluminum pieces that go uh, where, you've, where you've separated your box um, so that essentially there's a male and a female um, side, and that way when you put your box together, and close it, uh, the seal is, you know, tight, um, or as tight as possible. So I cut my enclosing extrusions with uh, a miter saw, I believe, and that way I could get my 45 degree cuts on the angles so that they fit together. Um, I put the, fit the enclosing extrusions onto the, um, onto the box and made sure everything fit together nicely. Um, then after that, I applied um, some makeshift L brackets um, or to corner the enclosing extrusions so that there are no sharp edges and that they can't rip up or cut me while I'm trying to carry this case. After that, I applied um, the remaining hardware, which was the uh, removable hinges, which fit in the back, um, and the... There you can see some of the inner brackets and the um, front uh, and front uh, latches and the handle. Uh, to apply the hardware, uh, it's essential that you use a pop rivet gun, a pop rivet tool, and pop rivets. I think I used 3 uh by 5 millimeter pop rivets. And I pre-drilled the 3 16th bit and then um, you know, you go through the steel or the aluminum with the 3 16th bit and then into the wood and then uh, pop rivet um, the hardware into place. I didn't make any particular cuts out of the enclosing extrusions or the box to fit the hardware. So on the bottom of the case, the edges, the um, hinges do force the box to sit up a bit, but in my case, it's not a problem. I also applied some little rubbery sticky things to protect the wood a little bit since I have the natural finish and uh, also so that it doesn't slide um, if placed on a you know slippery or smooth surface. Um, after that I uh, on the inside of the box I used some old mattress pad um, foam and dyed that black because I'm cheap and cut that and put one piece on the bottom with some hot glue gun just to make sure it stays in place and then uh, on the top piece I did a uh, doubled up and also have some on the sides in the video uh, it's not the final uh, padding so my top folds back and then with the removable hinges comes off and the way I've set it up is such that I can you know, leave the synth sitting on the bottom half of the case and play it uh, and then just put the other piece on the on the ground or whatever, and then just pop the other piece back on when I'm ready to go. Uh, I think this makes the most sense for live application. Some people discourage removable hinges, so it can be a little bit annoying sometimes. I guess maybe when you're putting things back on, but for live application, I think this makes the most sense. Additionally, I can also put uh, my stand works as a stand, or my case works as a stand too. So there's some of the hardware. I wish I had gone for recessed hardware, but 
I cheaped out. So that is my custom flight case build for my concertmate MG1 synthesizer.